Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 28th, 2021, and we are in the town of Vesmana in the country of the Faroe Islands. And we have spent the past three months here, and it's been a wonderful visit. But we are now looking for a weather window to sail back to Scotland, and so it's all about getting the boat ready to go. And I just discovered something awful. <laughs> Take a look at this. Right here in the leech of the sail, I found this tear. I just can't believe I didn't notice this earlier. This is awful. I've since gone through the rest of the entire sail from the bottom to the top, and I've found no other damage, just this tear here in the leech. And I've got to fix this immediately so that we can get back to Stornoway. The best way I think to fix this would be to get some heavy Dacron sail material to cut out a patch of some kind and then to sew it on with a sewing machine but I don't have any Dacron sail material or acceptable substitute so I'm going to hand sew this with a stitch called the herringbone stitch which should keep this tear together well enough for us to get home. Here's what I've got to do the repair. I've got this strong twine that I got at a fisherman's supply. Uh, we've got these needles, sail repair needles. Uh, we've got this uh, beeswax, which I'll use to coat the twine to make it like stiffer and a little sticky so it holds its shape while we're doing the repair. Uh, I've got this sewing palm, which I put on my hand to push the needles through if I need it, and then we've got some scissors. Choose our needle. These needles are a little rusty, but they will definitely do the job. It's got to have an eye that's big enough for the twine to go through. I'm going to try to do this one right here. I'm going to use this lighter just to prevent the end of the twine from unraveling. All right, put the twine through the needle. Now, just leave a little bit on the end. And then we're going to measure this twine to about 10 times the length of the tear. That's one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Take the very end and do some sort of figure eight knot. Uh, any kind of knot will do that won't come apart, that will be big enough to prevent the end of the twine from going through the sail. That's, that's big enough. Okay, and we'll get started. Here's the tear where it starts right there, and Here's our needle and a little bit of thread going through it, enough so that we can pull it through. And to do that, I'm going to put on this sewing palm. You can put the end of the needle on this part right here and push it through. We're going to start the repair just a little bit beyond the damaged material so that it has like a good anchor point in strong material for us to start and work our way down. I'm going to start by putting it in, say, start right here. just creating a little anchor to get started. Okay, there it is. Comes out the other side. Send it in one more time. And 
what that did was it created this little loop right there. We're going to use that loop to anchor the end by sending the needle back up. Hello! <laughs> so I finished sewing the sail and it came out great. But when I looked at all the video footage, I found that the one little part where I actually showed how to do the stitch was somehow corrupted. Actually, maybe this is a good thing because now I can record just showing how to do the herringbone stitch on this little piece of canvas right here at the dinette where I have better lighting and can better focus the camera to show what I'm doing. And I cut this little tear in the canvas to simulate the tear that was in the mainsail. Another thing that somehow I forgot to show when I was filming up on deck was coating the twine with the beeswax. So here's how to do that. You just take the twine and the beeswax and run it through like that just a few times that'll coat the twine with the beeswax just enough to make it a little sticky if you don't have the beeswax on there then it just gets loose too easily whereas with the beeswax it makes it kind of stick to itself or stick to the material just makes it easier uh, as you'll see all right, let's get started. Here's the canvas with this tear that I put into it that we're going to sew up with the herringbone stitch. Here's the needle and twine going through the eye of the needle just by a little bit, just enough so that we can pull it through the material. And at the end of the twine, I'm going to do a little stopper knot. To do that, I'm just going to take the end of the twine and wrap it around itself once and again and then take the end and put it through the loop there right there come on and then pull it through and tighten it up like that that's our stopper knot okay now when you start the herringbone stitch you want to start it in some good material that's just beyond the start of the tear. So the start of the tear is right here. I'm going to start the herringbone stitch maybe like right here just before the tear. Uh, you do that by sending the needle in somewhere and then coming back out like that to get started. Pull that through. There's our stopper knot right there. I'm just gonna Cut this excess twine so it's not in our way. All right, good. On the other side, you see that? It's uh, where it went in and then back out. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. We're gonna send it in, say, right here. And then come back out, say, right there. Pull that through. And what that has done is created this little loop right here. This little, little tiny loop right there. The underside looks kind of like that. What's important is that we have that little loop there because what we're going to do next is take the needle and send it through that loop under that little piece of twine. Let's a little, pull it out a little bit so I can get the needle under there. All right, pulled it out a little bit. I'm going to send the needle underneath the twine like that. Pull it through. Like that. And what that has done is anchored the end of the twine solidly in strong material. Now we're going to do the same sort of stitch going all the way down the tear uh, once on one side of the tear and the next time on the other side of the tear and we're going to alternate back and forth and back and forth sewing uh, on either side of the tear. 
And we'll start by sending the needle down the center line of the tear and then coming up to the side of the tear, go out about maybe an eighth of an inch or so, pull it through. And as you pull it, you've got this part, this little loop that you've made. And the important thing is that you then, before you tighten it all the way up, take the needle and send it through that loop before you tighten it all up. Oops. This we shall do right here. Okay, so that time we sent the needle through the tear line and then up on this side of the tear line and then through the loop. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. We're going to send the needle through the tear and then come back up about an eighth of an inch away from the tear and maybe an eighth of an inch down from the previous stitch. And again we have that loop there and just make sure that your needle and thread have been sent through that loop like that before you tighten it up. Okay. Because we put the beeswax on the line, everything's kind of sticky and holding together. Otherwise, you know, you tighten it up and then it would just go loose. Uh, but now you tighten it up and it kind of sticks to itself, which is beneficial. Now, we first we started here, then we went over here. Now we're going to go back over here. Again, go through the tear and up on the side about an eighth of an inch away from the tear and maybe an eighth of an inch down from the previous stitch like that. Before you tighten it up make sure that the needle and twine has gone through that loop that you made. Tighten it up. So you get in the picture here? You know, we started here and then we did one here, and then we did one here, and now we're going to go back over here. Same thing over and over and over and over, all the way down the tear, into the tear, and then back up, eighth of an inch, down and away approximately. Pull it through, send the needle through the eye, and pull it all tight. And apparently, if all you've got is a needle and twine, this stitch is maybe the best you can do for sewing the tear together in a way that will make it strong enough to not, like, tear more. Uh, and I think Really, this is only something I would do with the sale if I didn't have access to a sewing machine because I think that would be a far better repair if you just put a piece of Dacron material, uh, like a made a Dacron sale material patch and put it over the tear and then use the sewing machine to sew that patch in there. And that is what I'm going to do with the mainsail when we get back to Stornoway uh, and I can buy some Dacron sale material. But in the meantime, this will, I think, hold the sail together and prevent the rip from, from uh, getting larger on this one next sail that we, that we got to do. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'll stop here because I've shown you the gist of how it's done.
Okay, so now that we're at the very end and there's no more tear, I am now going to try to terminate this by going through some good material and then coming back up. And now I am going to go through that loop right there. And <clears throat> then, yeah, I don't really know how to terminate this. I'm just going to wing it here. Um, I'm going to send it through another one of these. And now we'll go through again into good material. Back up again through that loop. Now that I've got this kind of rat's next knot. I'm going to try to do some hitches through these two. Do a little hitch. Go through again. going to burn the very end so it doesn't unravel. There you go. And I'll do the same for the other side. Good. So that's it. We're done. What do you think? That's my repair. One side, there's the other side. I wouldn't want to be hove to in a storm offshore with this for sure. Um, and when we get back to Stornoway, I will buy some heavy Dacron sail material and I will sew it on there with my sewing machine. That'll be the best repair. But this will prevent the, hopefully prevent the tear from, from continuing uh, and hold it together for some like not heavy weather sailing. Enough to get us back to Stornoway. It's only 250 nautical miles back to Stornoway and uh, we're gonna be mostly sailing downwind. Uh, so we may not even need the main, but still I wouldn't wanna go offshore with a tear in the sail. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.